I am going to um, tell you guys something today that is probably going to be a huge shock to you. I've been very nervous to make this video for a while. It's something that actually happened um, at the beginning of the year and now we're halfway through the year. It's something that I think a lot of you have kind of already figured out. Um, I can see from my comments and stuff that you guys have been asking questions that you've kind of like sense something's been going on or just noticed my situation from my videos and have kind of guessed which actually you guys did that when I was pregnant as well so I'm very impressed mashallah some of you are very intuitive I'm not gonna cry in this video by the way I've made a conscious choice to make sure that there are no tears in this video I want it to be I don't I don't want it to be emotional I want it to be more factual and beneficial so don't think I'm cold because I'm not crying. I am purposely holding back a lot of emotion because I really want this to, um, I don't want to make a drama out of this. I just really want it to be, look, this is what happened. I'm moving on. Here's some facts for people that can um, that can help them if they're going through a similar situation. Khalas. Sultan and I are divorced. We got divorced very soon after Khadija was born. Alhamdulillah, it's important to say Alhamdulillah in our tough times as well as our good times I think because everything's down to Allah and actually I was watching a lecture from Mufti Mank and he said that our divorces are written for us so the same way our marriages are written for us our divorces are written for us so this divorce was written for me before I was even here so I can't complain Alhamdulillah it's part of my plan did I want to be a single mum? No, of course not. Nobody wants to. Um, but it's a test. And the Sahaba, actually, the pious companions of the Prophet wasallam, they were very nervous when they weren't getting tested. And I hold on to that because, yes, the test is hard. There are much harder tests, alhamdulillah. There are much harder tests. This test is hard, but it's part of my it's part of my path, it's part of my journey, it's part of my test. Obviously I'm not gonna go into the details of the divorce. Um, but I will say that we divorced a while ago now. I've been through Ida and everything, it's all like completely finished. Um a lot of you guys are going to be very confused because you'll say things like oh you guys seem so happy or whatever in your video alhamdulillah we were happy the divorce was a huge shock it was a huge 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 shock we were happy alhamdulillah I, I strongly believe that um yeah i want to say there was no there was nothing serious there was no violence alhamdulillah there was no adultery or accusations of any kind of violence or adultery or any of the serious things so what happened when I got divorced is Shaitan came to me strong and a lot of people who are converts to Islam, yes, they lose their faith when they go through things like this or um, they get, they kind of come off the deen and come back on. Alhamdulillah, I never came off the deen, but it shook me a little bit. I'm, I can't lie. It did shake me a little bit. Alhamdulillah, I'm like, I'm, I'm back and strong now and you know I really put it down to my Islamic education like the fact that I'm going through an Alamiya program it helps so much I didn't have a choice to just leave Islam because Islam is in my everyday life because of my education alhamdulillah so I really think Islamic education is so important and yes it did shake me a little bit um like I think it would everybody but the true believers are strong with Allah in their good times and their bad times. And it's important to stay with Allah. And there was, I had a lot of waswas, like I had a lot of whispers from Shaitan saying to me like, why would Allah do this to you? Alhamdulillah, like, who am I to think I'm so special that I'm not going to get tested? Like, stop for Allah. And, um saying things to me like oh men are men are horrible or men are this you you never want to be around men you don't want to be with men you know all these horrible like gender war narratives we're being given nowadays there's so much online about gender wars i actually despise it i really hate this gender war stuff because it's just 
putting barriers between men and women and men and women are like if men and women can't be together then there's not going to be any goodness in this world because how are families ever going to raise good loving kids kids that can feel empathy and be good human beings when they grow up if men and women can't be together like the gender war thing i think is so horrible and i, th I strongly recommend anyone to stay away from that kind of content the gender war content it's so horrible like the kind of things they say like oh men are dogs or women are dogs it's like if you said that about a race if you said like a oh, white people are dogs or black people are dogs like people would say to you you can't say that stuff online that's that's racist why are we allowed to say about the opposite gender anyway yeah so a lot of what's worse about that and shaitan will constantly come to me and say look you're a single mom with a child no man's ever going to want to be with you um that's it you lost your chance to ever start a family you know all these kind of things um and yes a, a lot of men are not going to want to be with me that's okay i don't want to be with every man <laughs> alhamdulillah that would be weird um but there will be somebody out there for me inshallah and i can't imagine that right now i'm in a very difficult place but in the future inshallah and there will be someone that understands that i'm not perfect that i I, I do have a child that I'm a single mum and they won't be able to start that kind of perfect family of a woman who's you know like never been with anyone and doesn't have any kids and they can all start a fam perfect family together I'm not that woman anymore I'm a completely different woman now so my experience of marriage would be completely different now and as well like obviously Sultan and I met when I was quite a new Muslim so I've come a long way in my religion since then as well so I'll be looking for completely different things um the next time round so that's going to be an interesting journey things that I've never um like considered and looked for I'm a completely different person now completely different person alhamdulillah and it's just about trusting that this is Allah's plan and this is what's best for me and I'm sorry if this is a shock to you guys. I'm sorry if it's um, if it's made you guys wary. But yeah, this is what's happened. And it's about moving forward. And, you know, my YouTube channel's been going for like two and a half years now or something. So you guys have been on a journey with me. Like, you've been on a journey from when I was a very new Muslim to my Umrah to having a child. Like, oh my God, you guys have been on a journey with me, alhamdulillah. And absolutely love you guys and i'll always love you guys no matter what happens and i'll always be honest with you inshallah i value honesty a lot so um that's one of the reasons why i really wanted to make this video and talk about my experience and if you're going through something similar then um i pray allah helps you and i hope this video gives you some kind of like help maybe it doesn't i'm sorry if it doesn't and the i understand what you're going through and I'm I'm here for you. I mean, message me on Instagram. I'm here for you. If you're going through something similar and you want to reach out to me, then go for it. Um, yeah. But anyway, as always, thank you guys for watching. I've got a lot of exciting content coming out on this channel soon, inshallah. I'm actually living with my mum right now. Um, you'll see my backdrops and everything are completely different. And yeah, so I'm living with my mum with Khatija, who's the best in the world. I love her so much. And... This is part of Allah's plan and this is the way it's meant to be. Thank you guys for watching. Assalamu alaikum.